morning there, and welcome to Rising. We have another stupendous show for you today. Lots of really interesting news to get it up to, I'm sure. Oh, man, it's a humdinger. As many of you are probably aware by now, CNN has exclusively obtained recordings of the 2021 Mar-a-Lago meeting where former President Trump is heard admitting to retaining documents he knew were still classified after his term in office was over. Let's listen. Isn't it amazing? I have a big pile of papers. This thing just came up. Look. This was him. They presented me this. This is off the record, but they presented me this. This was him. This was the Defense Department and him. Wow. We looked at some. This was him. This wasn't done by me. This was him. Yeah. All sorts of stuff. It's pages long. Look. Mm. Wait a minute. Let's see here. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. I just found, isn't that amazing? This totally wins my case, you know. Mm -hmm. Except it is like highly confidential, yeah. <laughs> secret. This is secret information. Yeah. But look, look at this. You attack. And Hillary would print that out all the time, you know. <laughs> she'd send it, no, she'd send it to yeah. Anthony Weiner. Yeah, yeah. The pervert. Um, by the way, isn't that incredible? Though? Yeah. I was just saying, because we were talking about it. <laughs> And you know, he said he wanted to attack Iran and what? He said the papers. Did. Pretty, wow. This was done by the military, given to me. Uh, I think we can probably. Right? I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see. Yeah, we'll have to try to Declassify. figure out a. a yeah. See, as president, I could have declassified. Yeah. It. Now I can't. You know, but this is. Yeah, classified. now we have a problem. Is that interesting? Yeah. Historian and journalist Garrett Graff said of the recordings, quote, speaking as a Watergate historian, there's nowhere on thousands of hours of Nixon tapes where Nixon makes any comment as clear, as clearly illegal, as clearly self-aware as this Trump tape. If you'll remember, this is how Trump defended himself to Fox's Brett Baer earlier this month. Please, please, could we have it back? And they please, asked for that. Because they have no... We they were did talking. ask for it. No. And they said, can you give some, the documents back? And we were talking. And then they said they went to DOJ to subpoena you to get them Which back. they've never done before. Right. And in but all why fairness, not just hand them over then? Because I had boxes. I want to go through the boxes and get all my personal things out. I don't want to hand that over to Nara yet. And I was very busy, as you've sort of seen. Yeah, but I've according very, to the indictment, busy. you then tell this aide to move to other locations after telling your lawyers to say you'd fully complied with the subpoena when you hadn't. But before I send boxes over, I have to take all of my things out. These boxes were interspersed with all sorts of things. All right, so this is something that we knew existed, but hearing it in his own words really hits home the following points that, you know, his defense is really going to have to contend with. One, that he says on the tape that he knows the documents are highly confidential, and two, that he knows that they are still classified, that he did not declassify them, even if he, in his words, could have classified him while he was still president. So what do you make of this? Okay, so I have three major thoughts. So first, you're right. This does not uh, his defense that and his his claim that it wasn't actually the the uh, documents in question that it was newspaper clip, clippings referencing this. It was things of that nature, not the actual classified documents that he said that about, about that conversation. Mm -hmm. That doesn't sound like what they're discussing. Mm -hmm. It sounds like what they're discussing mm -hmm. is actual documents. The, the, this, is, this is what the generals are doing or whatever. Yeah, hear the papers shuffling. Yeah. yeah. So uh, I don't know. I, I would tend to agree that that sounds highly bad for his legal case. However, I will say two other things. Again, yes, Trump's unique um, contempt for just following rules and laws, getting him into trouble here, that's all fine. I'm not making excuses for him. I don't think he should be the nominee. I don't think he should be president again. I do have, but, but it seems like the genesis of him trying to show to those, the staffers, those aides, whoever those people were, he, it was that he was trying to prove that he, unlike the Defense Department and Mark Milley, were disinclined to pursue war with Iran. Mm -hmm. And that is, to me, a much more significant issue, frankly, than the underlying dispute about who had whose documents when. Um, our, our federal government's eagerness to have war, uh, independent from the political approval process, independent from Congress declaring it such and the president carrying it out, a just permanent 
martial bureaucracy that makes its own foreign policy is something Trump ran against and utterly failed to constrain or contain or battle in any way, shape, or form. But here we are again. Yeah. And that's a, that's a part of it. And then related to that, the third thing is that, well, how did CNN get this? How did the New York Times get this? I have to imagine someone in the prosecutor's office leaked it to them, which you know, we're getting all really uppity here about like who has what document and what information where and this very illegal, like, but the government, the prosecutors can just with impunity hand, make, make their case, have their case argued in the press rather than in a courtroom at their discretion. Yeah. I mean, my feeling about that is it was maybe dirty play, it, but that's just, it, that's well, what people do. And uh -huh. I, I don't know. I, I think that 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 if, if the shoe were on the other foot, this is not like a partisan maneuvering. It's good. They're, they're going to try to make it difficult for Trump to get a fair mm -hmm. jury. They're, they're going to try to play it out in the press. That's strategically understandable. I, I mean, I don't really take that much issue with it. I think that your point about the, the focus here in the public's disinterest in Trump defending himself as the anti-war voice in the room, um, is very, very interesting and significant. I mean, that really is the story, how we are collectively more invested in the potential conviction of a former president to take him out of the political process than the institution which has been driving this country, sucking mm -hmm. up the most of our um, national budget and thrusting us into foreign conflicts that cause million, literally millions of deaths around the world. And that isn't the story. That being said, there are understandable reasons why there is an investment in finding out what's going to happen to the Republican frontrunner. Um, I think this is one of the most recent polls, and not the most recent one, from Real Clear Politics. Um, average shows uh, that, uh, that Donald Trump has 52.2 percent of the vote. DeSantis is in second place with 21.4 percent of the vote. Pence is bringing up the rear, rear, rear with 5.7 percent of the vote, and everybody else is behind that. So to politically neuter the front runner is understandably mm -hmm. a significant news event. I guess my question to you is, do you think this new audio coming out in conjunction with everything else we know about the strength of the legal case against him will change anything about uh, his choice to run or the Republican Party's choice to kind of stay in this hands-off Trump sort of a place continuing to defend him against this prosecution? I don't think it's changing much from the political standpoint. You have some of his Republican challengers, like Chris Christie, who are really going after him on this stuff. So they're, they've already been hitting him hard. Then you have, you know, you have, I mean, it's a range, right? Mike Pence is somewhere in between that. He's not gone full Chris Christie, but he's certainly been critical of Trump. Then you have the DeSantis type people who don't, are not saying any, are not touching this with a 20 foot pole and just kind of hope that it's enough to take Trump down without them having to be the one to, to deliver a, the fatal blow with the knife in the back. Yeah. Um, I don't think that strategy makes any sense because that's like not get, like he's not he's not you got to push him if you want him to go. You got to all push him, and they're not going to do that. We were all there in 2016, and the people who pushed ended up just jettisoning themselves off the stage. Okay, but not pushing is not going to work. Yeah, well, I think that that's part of what's. I mean, strategy. I think he's likely to be the nominee. It's, it's uh, yeah. just, that's what's going to happen. Well, this is how over on Fox News they're covering the story. This is Hannity talking about the recordings last night. He, well, number one, he's right about Hillary Rodham Clinton, top secret classified documents on our servers, uh, outlined extensively by Jim Comey in July of 2016, but no reasonable prosecutor would prosecute. Uh, now, while he did say, you know, this is stuff that he got from the military that would be highly confidential and secret, and says at another point, as president, I could have de declassified it. Now I couldn't. But now, you know, it would still be a secret. That does not confirm for me whether or not specifically this, this document was declassified or not. Uh, was that actually a real, the real document or was it a story that he was telling? Um, and my understanding is, is that that particular document was never found by the special counsel or by, you know, the raid at Mar-a-Lago. But I might be mistaken on that. I don't think I am. Yeah, I mean, you can try to uh, peck holes in this. Uh, 
obviously a, a, the jury, judge, et cetera, are the ones who are going to decide on this. I, I, I can see what Sean Hannity is saying. I don't know that that's going to be the most persuasive. Uh, to me, when I hear that clip, it sounds like Trump is talking about classified materials that he, he says, still has. These are the papers. Yeah, the you can hear recording. the papers, you know, rustling. You can, you can hear this noise. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> going on <laughs> really aggressively. But, I mean, and it, sounds, it could be other papers. It, it doesn't be... sound like it's other papers. So it sounds like those papers. But uh, and again, I kind of understand why he, he... Now there's a reason for him keeping these, at least. You know, why would you keep this? Why would you keep this? If you're listening to the, that whole conversation, the reason is now they're going to try to indict me as a warmonger. They're going to say Trump was crazy. Trump wanted to nuke Iran and everybody else. But no, I didn't want to. I didn't want to do that. They want to do that. Look at this. <laughs> look at this. They want to do yeah, that. Yeah, look. And you know what? That's there's okay. That that there. I think there's some philosophical or moral legitimacy to that. Now it is clearly not what the law. The legal says. legitimacy so he, again, is, is the issue from the legal standpoint. But from the standpoint of grappling with a foreign policy apparatus that makes its own decisions, and uh, and you know doesn't consult the elected representatives, let alone the American people, that is, the, that is a huge, huge problem. It's one Trump is not fit to address, and I would rather him exit the stage so that someone else can try, but yeah. it is a problem. Yeah. That's I mean, my takeaway. He says, these are the papers. He says, this was done by the military and given to me. Given to me doesn't suggest... I, I went to the bodega and bought a New York Times and I'm reading about a story. No, given to me suggests this is a confidential document that was given to me. Moreover, there were obviously the writers in the room that he was talking to. I'm sure that their testimony will also corroborate this one way or another. And we will be reporting on all of that new information as it comes out. More rising for you after this. Stick around. <laughs> 